Welcome back, everyone. This week, there's some kissing, some surfing, eating, adventuring, working out, silliness, and oh, we found something pretty scary. Make sure you watched until the end to see that one. Good morning everyone, I hope you are happy, healthy and well. It is now the 15th of March, so Monday morning, and I've decided it's time to crack down on work. I've got three weeks left of the term and it's time to get studying properly. So I'm going to the library with Ella and we're gonna work really hard and we're gonna get loads of stuff done and that's gonna be the theme for the week. So roll the intro, let's go to the library. <laughs> Work, work, work. I sometimes forget that is why I'm at uni. <laughs> it's really hitting home that I have three weeks left of the term, therefore it's time to get my head down. I won't bore you with all the study clips in this week's video, but if you are interested and missed it, I'll leave the study with me video in the description bar below. The evening did get better though. It's a great feeling when you realise you can literally make pancakes any day of the week. Mate, would you call this your anthem of 2012? If you do me a dance for it, then maybe. Yeah. Most days I end up filming at least two or more clips for the day. This Wednesday was different. I forgot I hadn't picked up the camera in the morning, spoke to the camera quickly about my plans for the afternoon and then left it for the day. It was an absolute mess, so we were going to swiftly move on to Thursday. Hello everyone, it is now Thursday afternoon and I have had a crazy busy day and it was made even busier and harder by the fact that we celebrated St. Patrick's Day yesterday a little bit too hard. I've just had two lectures. The plan is I'm heading to Zach's, he's at work. I'm gonna make that TikTok tomato and feta pasta for him which should be really, really fun. So I'm gonna make that for when he gets home, but the time is ticking, he's gonna finish work in about an hour, and I've still gotta to go to Tesco's and buy all the ingredients, so we've gotta go, but I'll catch you soon. <laughs> so I got all the ingredients. I got a basil plant, I got tagliatelle, I got feta, so I get up, oh, you're down. And I got two lots of vine tomatoes, because I just think they'll be nicer. Wow, I look crazy. So now we have everything, so let's go back to Zach's and Start cooking! The oven's preheated, so now all I need to do is put the tomatoes in the pan and then drizzle with olive oil and then put the feta in the middle, I think. So I'm gonna do that right now. You give it a little, you ready? Mm -hmm. Mix it and they all like break up and stuff and it makes the sauce. Ooh. There you go, see? They're all just Ooh. falling apart. It was so yummy and super easy. Thanks, TikTok. I tried to double the portions so we had leftovers, but it was so good that we ate it all. Oops. <laughs> I'm so glad it's the weekend and the sun is shining and it is such a nice day, you can't even see, but it's blue out there. And we are heading to the beach. Zach is going surfing with the boys and me and Lucy are gonna do a yoga and workout session on the beach in the sun. And it's just gonna be perfect. We're gonna head there now. It's still a local beach for us, so we're absolutely fine to go. And I'm just so excited. A little adventure, Zach's off work, and it's gonna be a good day. Just got a feeling. Yeah. Oh, Zach, all the horses are down there. I miss this place. Hi, you're gorgeous. Yeah. Don't wipe your dirty moustache on me. It's the best Friday ever. Yeah. You're not sure, are you? Do I smell okay? Do I smell acceptable? Here is me and my head. <laughs> no, I said in the car it was going to be a good day. This is the kind of good day I mean. This has to be my favourite moment of my week. I've always had a soft spot for horses and I find them fascinating creatures. I don't think I can actually describe in words how happy I was to stumble across these gentle giants this day. Amazing. You're amazing creatures, aren't you? I'm going. Are you mad? No, stop! It's good for the skin. No, it's not!
Anyone who knows me knows I hate running with a fierce passion. However, sometimes it's good to step outside your comfort zone and push your body a little harder than usual. And on a beach like this, I mean, there could be worse places to work out. So it's now Sunday morning, it's 8 a.m. and we are heading on an adventure to a local bay near us called Muslade Bay and I absolutely love it here. We've been I think once or twice before but it's kind of a long walk down past a brick wall and I thought it would be really fun to take you guys with us because we love our adventure and we've got some snacks as usual. It wouldn't be an adventure without snacks so yeah that's our plan and we're really excited. The roads are dead at the moment so it's really nice just to get up early and make the most of the quiet Sunday morning so I will catch you on the way. spring take the gower. Yeah, it's so much greener already. Yeah, it's actually well, it's so green. Look at it. It's actually carpeted and oh this one is here. It's just magical, isn't it? Yeah. It's so magical. Like with all the trees. Yeah? No. Yeah I got you if you want to drop. Yeah, good luck. I couldn't wrap my hands yeah. far enough round. I was about to say. It smells so good. We should make a meal with fresh garlic. Hey ponies. I think they might be some of the same ones from the day, Becca. Really? Yeah, there's no way through that, Becca. Are you guys going to get us past? But that is just a lot. <laughs> so, oh, I don't want to have to move all of them. That one is the one. That one? Yeah, that one is him? Yeah. I don't know if I can zoom in on here. Oh, I zoomed in all the way, that's why. That, that is him, the one that I saw yesterday. We're we'll fine. Come on, ponies. Come on. Move over. Move over. That's it. Keep moving. There we go. Yeah, is that, this is the one from yesterday. Yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> Keep moving that butt. Come on. Hold well on. There we go. <laughs> No, you're okay. He's a bit, he, this one's a bit freaked out. You're okay. Zach, come this way so he can go there. He's a bit spooked. Yeah, he's yeah. <laughs> oh. This is Muslay Bay. Having followed a beautiful stone wall through a wooded area and then a field, we arrived at the beach. Zach and I love this beach because of its peaceful, unspoiled nature. You can walk for miles and only hear the waves crashing on the shore. It's a real mind clearer, this one. Zach, you in the cave? <laughs> oh, you're in that cave? I'm coming. Are you touching them? There's some big limpets as well. So cool. Touch it. <laughs> oh, look at them go. Up. Ready? Yeah. Ah! Love a good cave. Is that? Yeah, it's really beautiful. Cool. Imagine loads of trees under the sea there. Big bundles of that. It's so sad. I'm gonna go down there. See? Looks like it should be. It's too uniform to be like just random. Where are you going? This way. Yeah. Yeah. Horrendous, Becca. 
Really? I'm not that free. Oh. There's a path down there, to be fair. That is the yeah, okay. Imagine <laughs> someone going up the edge of that. That is scary. Freaking me out. Yeah, to be fair, I, I agree with that. That's gonna go at some point. Yeah. You can see like how the whole ground here is like kind of like broke, like yeah. pulled away a little bit. That's so cool. It's all just held together by weight as well. <laughs> my knee is pushing down. Yeah. Imagine waking up with that view. Yeah. Do you convert it? Yeah. It's a tiny home. That's not poo, that's like a rock. It looks like slag. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. It's, like, it's like baby spiders on No, they were ants, Zach. Ugh. They weren't baby spiders, they were ants. There's an ants nest there, to be fair. Oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> You're a drama queen. It's all started crawling. Yeah, I know, to be fair. That's weird, isn't it? Try and crack it open. <laughs> Initiate inner caveman. <laughs> wow. It's like but, charcoal. Yeah. Yeah, it's just charcoal. Someone's had a fire at some point, that's all it is. It's just charcoal. And you thought it was a poop. A little poop. It looked like a poop, it looked really fresh. Yeah, it did. I mean, we could chuck along. Adventure. So that's where we walk down there. It's really warm. This is the warmest I've been in a long while. It's really nice. It says something. It's like a drawbridge, Zach. Yeah. That's so cool. And lift it up. Lift it up. Is that how it goes? Yeah, I think I'll just... Someone made that. It's not so much problem. Oh no, Zach. Oh no. Oh no. What? Oh no. By your tongue? No, it was. Not like it. It's not me. Look behind me, on the floor. Surely something's eaten it. It's too small. But why did she be there? I don't know, let's go. <laughs> it's really fun to talk. It's nature. I know. It's like a, it's like a threat, isn't it? <laughs> Stay away or you'll lose your leg. I think that's the one that spooked when we were going past. Is it? Yeah. Should we go right down this way then? That was a super fun little adventure. The sun has come out and it actually feels like summer, which is really nice. Very much so. Very much so. Lovely adventure and... It's so warm and it's such a Yeah, it just feels like this is the start of the warmth and the proper adventures. Wales is going to start opening up so I think in next week's vlog you should be able to see more adventures, more of Wales. I think, hope, fingers crossed, on Friday they'll do the announcement and we'll find out probably but I'll get it now. Hope you all like it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you all again next week. Bye! Bye!